Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Evan or uh, Dareflow, and today I'm just gonna show you a basic intro cinematic that style that I've done in a lot of my videos, and uh, it just involves a cinematic and then some text in the background and behind some of the stuff in the map. So pretty much what I do right away after importing my thing. This is five seconds already, and that's basically a good time frame for an intro. Uh, I'm gonna find a spot on the cinematic that I like and want to work with. I'm not gonna use Twixter for this one because then I'd have to keyframe the masks. But for this, I'm just gonna use uh, time remapping to make this a still image. And pretty much, you go to where you want your frame to be frozen. Put a keyframe, move down a frame, and then put another keyframe. And then holding Shift, you're gonna click on the last, and then move this all the way down as far as you can. And then you can drag this up to the beginning and stretch this out and then that way you will have the same image throughout the whole thing um, next I guess the next step would be to add a text and I'm gonna put flow tutorial I'm just gonna use the text that's already here for me because looking for a text is one thing that probably takes the longest in this process for me uh, once you have your text selected you can stretch it out and kind of work with it until you find where you want to put your stuff and I have this one like up here you won't really have to worry about the mask too much with that and the episode one I'm gonna have in between the this guy and the rock somewhere I think people will be able to read that alright there you go no thank you um I think this looks fine all right, so I'm and for time per. All right, well, actually, first you're gonna want to pre-compose these before you do your actual masking, because later on you're gonna probably want to edit the text, and this will allow you to do that without moving the actual mask. And this this is just because this is the way I do it. I've seen people do it different ways, but you'll have to bear with me if you want to know how the flow edits. But, alright, I've just named them so I know what I'm working with. I'm going to go to my flow there. I'm just going to mask these two out, and I'll come back and talk a little bit more about what I did once I'm done. So, be right back. Alright, I'm done with my mask, and now, see, you don't really have to go around the whole guy, you pretty much just have to cover up the part where the text is actually overlapping what you want to mask out, and actually there is a little part in here that I'm going to want to do to make it just look a little nicer. Um, and once you've masked out all these parts, you can go to mask, and you're going to want to subtract and then this one can just be added because that's what you want there and as you can see that moves that behind all the stuff and same with this mask subtract and turn that back on so what you have here is this stuff all behind and this isn't the best looking thing but it will do for the tutorial uh... once i have my text in and they're pre-composed so this is what i was talking about since they've pre-composed i can go in and move this text and it will move on this without moving my actual mask so that proves helpful later on um, yeah now since this is kinda of boring and you don't want to just have this I'm gonna add an effect called misfire which if you have magic bullets you have misfire and I'm just gonna add flicker only because that's all I'm really looking for and I added that to the wrong thing I'm just gonna do an adjustment layer so I can put it all in that um, my misfire settings I usually go to about anywhere from 85 to 95 I use like 93 and then for the flicker amount I'll just leave it at 10 I usually do from like 7 to 15 anywhere and here I'll just pre-compose a little bit so you can see what we have right now so this is still pretty boring now I'm gonna add my uh, wiggle and to do this 
I'm going to stretch this out, which will affect your mass. So actually, I should have pre-composed all these, but I'm going to pre-compose these now. And then I'm going to press S on my keyboard and make it wider so my wiggle doesn't make any black lines. I mean, you don't have to worry about your text going off the edge because with the screen wiggle, it will come back in. Unless that really bothers you, then you can, of course, go back into your pre-comps and move your text. But, um... All right, now I'm gonna do the camera wiggle, which I mean, you're gonna add a new layer camera. Okay, okay, and a new null object, and then you're gonna press P on the keyboard over the camera layer. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch. Then you're gonna type in wiggle, and then parentheses. And the wiggle settings I use is one always for the beginning, or else I think it looks too twitchy. Uh, that helps it kind of stay calm, but you can also have it move a lot. And then this side, it's really up to you what you want. You can put it anywhere from like 3 to really like 25. I'm just going to use like 18 for this, I guess, just to have some movement since the cinematic's kind of boring. And then once you do that, you're going to use this the little like screw thing. Put your null object here and your pre-composition on the null object. And that way you see you have the movement but no black lines and you can probably I don't I'm not sure if you can turn the scale down at all you can mess with your scale because you don't want it to look too stretched out but at the same time you don't want it coming in and making any black lines uh, next thing I'll probably do is add the black bars on the top and bottom because I think that just looks makes the cinematic and edit in general look cleaner so the way I do that is new solid black put a grid on so you know you're going straight and I go two thick lines down and make this mask here and then what you're going to want to do you can turn the grid off that's just to help you make a flat box go to mask subtract again and then in your mask options go to the mask expansion and you can just stretch this out to however big or however big you want it and then that way it moves but you don't have to worry about like the black bars or whatever moving and I think I did this a little bad because the bottom bars thinner than the top but whatever I don't really care um, yeah and then other than that pretty much just a color correction will do I guess I'll add on my adjustment layer I'll add a magic bullet looks and sorry if this like takes a while to open up I'm on like a really shitty laptop and everything moves so slow, especially because I have Skype running also. I usually have to turn that off while I'm making edits. Um, let's see what we have here. All right, many day now. And um, here's a. This is actually a really sick color correction pack. Adonis and Baker they made a uh, CC pack, and this is the t this is the camo you guys have all been wanting. So you can check out a. Uh, that CC pack if you want all these because they're actually really sick. I'm gonna use this is ball sack. Fucking Crump sent me this. Uh, all right. Well, this kind of covers the one up. I don't know if you want it. I'm not really gonna really worry about like the color correction. Here, hold on. let me actually just pick a better one so you can see all the text. I'm just use one of Zebos. All right. I actually don't like that. Neither do I like that. Neither do I like that. I like that. Jesus. Zebo, make a good CC, bruh. I'm just kidding. These actually are all really sick. I'll just use this one. This looks fine. Take off this one. Yeah. That looks fine. Makes it look better, at least. So, pretty much here, you have your flicker, you have your wiggle, and you have your mass text. And that's pretty much it. That's what I do. I'll throw this in at the end just so you can see what the final project looks like. But uh, this is pretty much what I do when I like have a go when I just need a go-to cinematic before a video. It's pretty simple and it really doesn't take that much time. And uh, yeah, so if you could just comment on like other tutorials you want to see, I'm really sorry that this has been like late. Uh, I just been like super busy at school and just haven't found the time to to do these. So I hope you can forgive me for that, and I'll try to pump more of these out in these next few months. So yeah, just comment what you want to see, and I'll read them. And if there's something I don't know how to do, maybe I'll teach it to myself and then teach you guys. But this is pretty much what it looks like. And yeah, that's that's decent, I guess. I'd probably spend a little more time on it if I was doing an episode for someone.